The days passed one by one. Each one of them felt like an entire century. Over ten days after the last upload, it felt like many lifetimes ago. Hey, what? Uh, what do you mean I'm being too dramatic? You don't know anything about this. You are nothing but an imaginary character out of frame in a joke that is way too self-aware. Now, let me just start the video, okay? Can you believe this guy? Just a little bit more than a week ago, I got this idea, totally as a way of procrastinating on something, but still an idea that benefits my journey. I've been watching a bunch of videos of people uh, showing off their sketchbooks lately on YouTube, and I do draw traditionally in sketchbooks as well. I think one thing that I really neglect is doing proper digital studies. So I decided that I want to spend three hours a day for an entire week just doing random studies digitally in grayscale. That is 21 hours of pure studying stuff. And I decided to focus on portraits, mostly on faces with a little bit of clothing and body here and there. And you will see how I managed to stick to that plan. Also, I didn't complete the whole thing in seven days. It was more like 10. But when I got the 21 hours of recording together, that was the point when I stopped and decided to make this video. Also, I recorded all of that without my face cam, so I can nicely insert myself into the corner there. Just some little variety for the video this time. The first one was a one hour study. I did use an AI generated image as a base for this one. I will talk about that in a minute or five. I found this camper woman with a backpack, half body image and I turned it into a full body one. It was pretty much only just a bust image at the start and I invented everything else and I added that log that she's sitting on. And for this one, I just used the black on the gray background through the entire process, only adding and erasing in order to really limit myself even more and in the end I added some yellow light to make it more shiny and interesting. For the second one I combined three separate AI generated images then I immediately broke my idea of only doing one hour studies and I turned this into a four and a half hours long essentially a final piece with rendering. Ah, the ghost of rendering past haunting me to this day. There was also a weekly competition on the Discord server where the prompt was to illustrate a song and I didn't finish this on time, nor did I just pick one song, because it was based on many songs of Adrian von Ziegler. If you've been paying attention to the text appearing around the that that in that direction in the screen where I'm pointing at now. I've been using his music in my videos and uh, check out the description in order to learn more about it. And uh, his main thing is really dark, gothic, atmospheric instrumental songs. And this one was based on the tracks uh, My Black Bros, Darkness Beloved and uh, in my darkest hours, those are some of my favorites. And essentially it's a piece of uh, a gothic lady with some colorful roses in a black and white piece. You know, one that is mostly reliant on just looking nice rather than having any really meaningful substance. And ironically, I really like this one, at least on a technical level, but move on to the next. In one and a half hours, I finished this random doodle I made some time ago. A really sad demon bust, a lot of light beaming down on the face, giving the feeling of a marble statue with the lack of color. For anyone thinking that you can't really do any interesting light in grayscale, just look at this one, especially after I added all the hazy and washed out fog around the character. You know, I'm not just talking about the contrast, but I was really focusing on making the light really striking for this one and just make the face really like have these gloomy elements when the face is slightly turning downward and then the separate features are getting into dark more and more. I didn't entirely manage to do that right but around the eyes especially that was like the most important part. I'm pretty happy with how that one turned out. I also added some warm light and colorful irises to make it more interesting. It was just a simple addition in the last few minutes. 
Next one with two hours and I promise it's not a pattern that is emerging here once again. I grabbed some AI gothic wizard slash necromancer pieces, mainly of one for the pose and the atmosphere and I turned it into the necromancer from the game called Darkest Dungeon, also known as the Dark Souls of roguelike games, at least I heard it being referred to like that before. I actually made a fan art of another character from that game some time ago, but the necromancer is a boss in the game who summons undead enemies and the strength of undead in this game is being almost immune to bleeding so the cape of this character being red is really a striking and amazing choice from the creators the only thing i changed in the original was showing the leg under the cape and I changed those incense burners into skulls because skulls are easier to make, especially if they turn out as bad as they did on this piece. But I'll say I managed to roughly capture the feeling of the game and the character. It only took me two hours instead of completing another one hour study twice. That sentence sounded funny. I'm not re-recording it. A random wizard portrait in one hour. Yes. <laughs> I was sleepy when I did this and it went questionably. I like the light effect. Everything else, not so much. I used a random old wizard AI image and some random Victorian men's clothing, but this really fell apart quickly and I decided to wrap it up in one hour instead of spending more time on this. It's really rough, really messy, those arms are super long but I like the face and the light effect on the face, so I would say that it would look better if we cropped it, that's it. Some time ago I tried out print rest for images and I saved a few Victorian dresses and a few pictures of Kiera Knightley when I made a fan art of Daphne Greengrass. And yeah, those were the two topics the site was recommending to me when I tried scrolling now. Victorian dresses and pictures of Kiera Knightley, I'm not making it up, so I said, yeah, thanks for the suggestion. So I combined two pieces of Kiara Knightley. There's no way that I pronounce that name right. I combined the green dress and the somewhat gloomy face. And one hour later, I decided to add 10 extra minutes to touch up the face using a light reference based on this photo of Emma Myers as Enid Sinclair. I somewhat succeeded. Um, the red lipstick really saved it, let's just say that. Not a single more word about this one. That hand is interesting though, I like it for some reason. Also the dress is okay, I suppose. Hermione Granger made in one hour flashing a nice dress and a red necktie. She's also from an alternative universe where her father was the Slenderman. I didn't bother so much with the face, I focused on the dress and the hair this time, making it really out of three shapes, one being the grey of the background, and then I added the black and white on top, really with a minimal amount of blending, and um, acceptable if you look at it from the distance. Next, a portrait done in one and a half hours of the actress Lea Sedu. Lea Sedu. Lea Sedu. Lea Sedu. Lea Sedu. Of the actress Lea Sedu. You might know her as the blue haired lesbian Bond girl from the superior live action Beauty and the Beast version. I had some really serious issues here trying to capture the likeness. I didn't want to make a nice mood here or a nice rendering. I wanted to the likeness this time because I always struggle with it and I wanted to practice and for quite some time she looked exactly like Natalie Portman. I'm not joking, I, I must not be the only one who sees this and then I overlaid the photo with the painting and discovered how insanely off I was. I will find a clip in my recording to show it. I kept trying to fix the individual features to get the likeness right but then I discovered that the main issue was the proportions and how the entire head was squished, so it really improved from uh, comparing them directly. And I never trace photos, not even photos of myself or 3D models that I pose, but checking my piece this time was really worth it. Also that extra color bone, my favorite. And I forgot to add some tears to this one, so the whole series is ruined now. I will group the next four together, all of these took 45 minutes each, 
and I did studies of photos of Norman Reedus. I originally wanted just someone who is masculine with a memorable face and then make multiple studies of the same person with different angles and expressions. And my mom is a huge Walking Dead fan, so she saw the series like five times already and really appreciated these, except for the fact that all of these are crying. <laughs> I know, but what's the point of making anything without crying? Like, that is my substitute for having real emotions. I mean, beyond hatred and regret, you know. The second and third one came out pretty bad. Then I realized that the problem was me not wanting to capture the likeness. I realized at one point what I wanted, what I really wanted was to finish the four pieces, not to make them properly. So I went back with a new mindset and fixed them up and uh, those two are still the weakest but they are okay the first one is really the most dramatic with the contrast and the fourth is the most accurate and realistic so at least i ended up liking two of the four of these pieces i went to reddit for the next one hour portrait of a clown i found this face on r slash dromi and i couldn't resist it was already black and white makeup I just had to not accidentally add any more color to it, other than the red lipstick, the blush and the irises. The issue I had with this was not making a proper sketch first, so I ended up ending it at one hour instead of trying to really fix the rendering. Since the main thing on this one is the makeup, I didn't need to be that accurate. I wanted to get the feeling of a gaze with a literally glowing white paint and uh, with higher contrast and it ended up acceptable. If I started with a proper sketch, this would have been much better. Moral of the story, stay hydrated. Oh, I mean, uh, start with a proper sketch. We are almost done with the series. Now, Two hours of this surprisingly fun and good piece. This person messaged me with a few pictures that included the same smile on all of them and knowing myself being someone who is frightened to the bone by facial expressions and you know that's that's not something to take lightly with my body mass index so I decided to make a piece featuring that smile. I used the the pose from one photo and the dress from another which had a missing red button but not at the same place as my piece it was lower but i still decided to include it on the piece to make it more interesting and unique and of course the red lipstick with the red buttons is slap explanatory originally this was also meant to be a one hour piece but around the 45 minutes mark i started struggling a little bit so i put it to the side, picked it up again the next day and I decided that okay I want to stop at two hours instead to make this one properly and it was really worth it. Like this might be one of my favorites from the from the series. The last one, one hour of a piece that I rushed a little bit more than I should have. I used another AI image of a gothic woman. I didn't use the heavy makeup around the eyes from the piece and the clothes that were also like these Victorian black dressy kind of clothing items but I still added this upside down cross necklace because of course some glow to the eyes and a pair of fantasy glasses then as I was adding the tears Krita crashed and of course the recovery lost the glasses but I didn't like it either way so I just added back the tears and called it done the way it was and that was 21 hours of random studies because I don't do nearly as much of these as I should. Now I mentioned that some of these were based on AI generated images and I know that there was this funny trend on YouTube of artists referencing AI generated images and deliberately not giving credit. I decided that I will give credit where credit is due and I will credit the prompter who made all the AI generated images that I used for this video. They were prompted by Robin Hood and thank you very much Robin for letting me use these images. It was a blast and I thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day, create something even if it ends up as a collection of just random studies because Honestly, we don't do enough of these ever, but most importantly, don't forget to have fun while doing that. Farewell. I just want to say a little bit of a side note if you hear that. 
My voice in this video kind of just fluctuates a little bit, or if I sound stranger than usual at some parts and just feel that my voice is constantly changing. Yes, my voice is constantly changing in this video because nowadays I'm doing some voice feminization exercises. I still don't know what I want to really do with my voice, but I want to make it a little bit more feminine, a little bit lighter than the voice that I have now. Like this is my default voice. While I nodded nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Ah, distinctly I remember it was in the bleak December and each separate dying ember wrote its ghost upon the floor. And I wanted to practice this in a video, but you know the whole recording is giving me a little bit more pressure, I cannot concentrate on my voice that well, and you know, trying to speak consistently in a voice that is still alien to you and the voice that you're still trying to figure out is pretty hard like i'm having a hard time just explaining this whole thing while i'm trying to concentrate on how i speak so yes this was uh, an experimental video in multiple ways <clears throat> and <laughs> i hope that it wasn't in, like insanely distracting you will hear different voices in the future of my channel we will see how it goes now Thank you so much and farewell.